feeling fly. What is up guys? Welcome back to Feel Good Fridays. If you're new, you know what day it is. You know kind of what's going down in this space, this vibe. But if you're new, welcome. This is a safe space where you can be a part of it. You can ask me questions, you know, whatever you need. I want to be here for you. My main point of having this channel is to help people, that's all I really want to do. So, with that being said, today is about a little bit of a sensitive topic. If talking about body image can be triggering to you, I urge you to click off this video and go check out one of my other videos. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between body confidence versus body positivity versus body neutrality, and I just really want to shed a light on these different subjects. And on top of that, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a bikini haul to go with me. I'm from Hawaii, so I have a bunch of bikinis that are super cute. So I'm gonna show you my favorites today. Honestly, I've kind of misplaced a few. Before filming this video, I was like, okay, I'll pull out my bikinis. Realizing uh, in my move, I kind of um, missed a few, so I don't really know where they are. So some of my favorites are not here today. Cheers. Let's just get right into it. If you need to still, you can go click off this video right now. Click off. Okay, amazing guys, let's get into it. We have the essentials today, the normal essentials. Go get a big thing of water, in a hydro flask, in a glass, whatever you need. Cheers, drink up, bitches. I'm feeling a little bit eccentric today, so I have some lavender essential oil to just calm me and my thoughts down. Amazing. We're gonna light our candle. Amazing. So let's just get right into it and I'm going to get on the first fit and then we can talk more about this difference in body neutrality, body positivity, and body confidence. Let's get into it. Okay guys, this is my first bikini. Okay guys, this is my first bikini. It is from My Underwear MA. I'll write it up on the screen. Super freaking cute. It's literally so buttery and so soft and that's why I wear it. Many of my bikinis will be from there because I'm absolutely obsessed. Plus, I think they're very affordable for a high quality bathing suit. Okay guys, wasn't that such a freaking cute suit? So I'm going to just stand up here and get into it with you. Body confidence. If your body confidence is being affected by social media, let's just break things down right here, right now. Everyone that you see that is looking so freaking hot, go off queens, and you're comparing yourselves to them, do you realize that they are taking 35 to probably 100 photos to get that perfect photo? They they are posing their body to their advantage. They know what angles their body looks good in. They're not always looking like that, and that's why neither are you. They're staging it. Yes, they look amazing. We're not trying to take away from that. We're simply trying to deal with the comparing yourself to others. Every single body is beautiful. The most important thing is the feeling good. So let's look up what the definition of body confidence is. Okay, so I actually just looked up the definition of body confidence and that definition did not come up, but the definition of body image did come up and I actually found it quite interesting, so I'm gonna share it with you guys. Body image is a person's perception of the aesthetics or sexual att attractiveness of their own body. It involves how a person sees themselves compared to the standards that have been set by society. That is just crazy to me because the standards have changed so many times throughout decades and decades and centuries and centuries of people judging women, judging human beings in general. It has consistently changed and newsflash, it's going to change again. And I'm going to continue this, but we're going to get into the next outfit. Okay, before we get into the next one, quick stop, take a sip of water. Okay, so this one is a one piece. It's also from my... I love it so much. It's so cute and so fun. Um, I love this pattern. I have so many more in this exact same pattern. It's so soft. I use this one to surf. Okay, now that we've seen this little cute suit, we're gonna get back into the topic of body confidence. When do I feel the most confident in my body. I feel personally the most confident in my body when I'm feeling good in my actual life. So I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but when I have really good things going for me in my real life, I have good things going inside of me also, and vice versa. You know, it's all connected. It's all the law of attraction. Save that for another episode. It's okay for the body confidence to go like this. 
it's totally okay. I feel confident when I'm getting a ton of sleep. I'm a person that I need literally eight to 10 hours of sleep. I'm gonna get that sleep. I'm going to be eating things that feel good on my body, not limiting anything. I don't limit anything in my foods. I eat everything that I want to eat, but I make sure that I'm making those conscious choices to eat healthier. I also am feeling super good when I'm getting in the ocean, being active, going on hikes, and also working out. I really like working out. If you don't like working out that much, that's totally fine, but you can find different ways to work out. Not everyone has to go to HIIT class like me. Some people can do yoga, some people can go on a hike. It's even like a walk or something. Your level of activity is so different depending on what you love and what kind of person you are. It just feels so good to move your body and give it that love that it deserves, okay? If you wanna feel confident in your body, the most important thing is to give it that love, give it that nourishment, and most importantly, give it those words of affirmation. Talking down on your body is going to tap into your subconsciousness. Love. It is going to tap into your subconsciousness, so it's really important to speak kindly to yourself and to your body. I really think that it's all about vibrating from within to with the without. For example, I hope she's okay with me sharing this. I'll run it by her real quick. My mom told me today she struggles with body image and things like that. She's like so fit, so freaking beautiful. Absolutely love this woman. She's like literally the fittest human. She is so much more fit than me and I'm a workout instructor. I saw her today in class. She came to my workout class and I was like, oh my gosh, you look so amazing. Like that outfit is so cute. Like you look so good. Her body looks so good. And then later she told me, actually I woke up and I really liked my body this morning. So it's so funny you said that. And I was just like, honestly, probably the reason that I noticed how amazing you looked was because you were vibrating from the inside out. So the way you perceive yourself is oftentimes the way others are gonna perceive you, okay? Not to freak you out or anything. Not gonna say people aren't gonna think you're beautiful if you're not feeling confident. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying when you're feeling that confident and that extra confidence, people are going to notice that a little bit extra. Whatever body type you came into this world with, nourish it, help it, give it love, okay? That is what it is deserving of. So we're done with body confidence, so I'm gonna change the outfit and we're gonna get into the difference between body positivity versus body neutrality. This next suit I love so much. It stays on my body so good. Nothing falls out. It's so cute. It's from Stone Fox Swim and it honestly has lasted me so long. I love a good suit that doesn't break on me. So this is what it looks like. Close. Posing. This is not posing. I'm gonna go ahead and just straight up read the definitions for you guys. Okay, so I looked through a lot of definitions and these ones are my favorite. So this is body positivity. Body positivity refers to the assertion that people deserve to have a positive body image, which we went over earlier, regardless of how society and popular culture views ideal shape, size, and appearance. This isn't always attainable for everyone. So what is the option? I'm gonna read to you my favorite way to go about body image that I really like. This is kind of what I practice. I use body neutrality instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you that definition. The idea behind body neutrality is to help us steer away from self-hate without the pressure of having to love our body. Instead, it's about working towards a place where we respect our bodies, but don't give it too much energy of positive or negative thoughts. I'm just gonna get in body neutrality and I'm going to show you guys the next suit. Okay, so this suit is also from my, it has like a nice thick band, which I really like, just keeps up with the nice and plate. Post versus unpost. Post versus unpost. Posture versus back posture. Let's get into body neutrality. So the reason that I really got into body neutrality was because one of my favorite activists, Jamila Jamil, she's amazing. I've listened to a million podcasts by her. She is just so inspiring. And she really made me look into this and be like, wow, I realize that's what I did anyway without really trying to. The problem that people have had with body positivity, even though it is an amazing movement led by so many amazing people like Lizzo. I freaking love Lizzo. She's fucking amazing. She is Oh my gosh, such a god. And it's so amazing that people have been gaining confidence from this body positivity movement, but I understand that it's not attainable to all. So even though there's some amazing women leading this movement, I'm all for body positivity. I incorporate it in my own life a lot of the time when I'm feeling really good about myself and I'm just like, oh, I look good. 
good, I love myself. Um, but that's not always the case for me and for other people. Body neutrality is this great alternative solution. The point is to not let your physical attractiveness set by society determine your worth and determine how you feel about yourself. It's about putting little thought into it. And I really like this one because I wake up and I'm like, oh, I have all this energy. I don't even need to look in the mirror. I feel great. And that is what really matters, right? Body positivity is kind of saying, I feel good about myself because I know I'm beautiful. Well, body neutrality, on the other hand, is saying how I feel about myself has nothing to do about my appearance. I feel good today because I feel good in myself. And that's why I really love body neutrality because the work is about the inward work. It's not about the physical physical outward work so that we can reach that level of self-love where we don't even have to worry about what we look like because we are just souls inhabiting these bodies, okay? Bodies are beautiful. I love to admire bodies. Bodies are pieces of absolute art to me. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this shed some light on body confidence versus body positivity versus body neutrality. I hope that this information was helpful. The difference between the posing versus the non-posing. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. I'm so excited for what's to come in the future. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your Friday or whatever day it is. Feel good Friday, baby. If you're not feeling good today, that's okay too. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Life is like this. Remember, my hand is a dolphin. We're, we're going back to that. 2014, 2013. Sending you lots of love wherever you are in the world. Reach out to me if you need help. I want to be there for you. Bye, guys.